Hi, I'm Peter Kelly and I'm a lead animator at Industrial Light and Magic and today we're going to talk about exaggeration. The idea with exaggeration is that most push motions, jumps, throws, runs, whatever, you, you really, when you really want to get something dynamic, you need one pushed pose in there to really, really sell that, that scene. So when we talk about pushing your pose, it, it's, it's sort of a broad term I know. The idea there is to really stretch or exaggerate some of your poses further than what you think they should go. A rule of thumb is to you know, push it as far as you think it should go, then push it further, then push it further than that, and then push it some more. And then maybe show it to your supervisor, your mentor, or your, your teacher and, and, and get some feedback and see what they think of it. Remember, it's always easier to continue to push your motion, to push it further than where you think it should go, and dial it back than to be continually told, keep going, keep going, keep going. So just try and push your stuff right off the bat and then uh, and then go from there. So let's take a look at some clips of some stuff in life and see this principle in action. You can see it, uh, this lion going in for the jump here. And check out this pose that this lion takes when she's in the air. This beautiful straight that you can see from her hind legs, this line of action is just so awesome. From the hind legs all the way through the chest up to her paws. I mean, she's only holding that pose for a couple frames. If you do it more than that, it'll feel floaty and won't really feel right. And then she goes in and wraps around this zebra and, and brings her down. And then I'll go in and do little thumbnails and little sketches and, and try and see what's happening in those poses. The thing I'm thinking about here is line of action, arcs, and how I can push and sell that, that pose. One thing I really try and do is get nice straights into my pose. And you'll find that you can, you can get those straights in there for just a couple frames and then, and then get it out. So this pose right here where we really see that nice stretch, that's the one I'll be shooting for when I get in and, and do my animation. So what I did from there is I animated this cat jumping. And you know, it's okay when you guys are exaggerating and pushing your stuff to sort of break the model for only a couple frames. It's okay to do that. Just remember you want to keep your animation on arc and you can only do it for a couple of frames. So you'll see right in through here, it's, I'm, I'm sort of breaking the hind legs and the chest and the body, but at speed it works. And you can see here, it's, it's all in this takeoff part where we can really see it, where there's just more spring and a little bit more life as this cat's jumping off the ground. And, and I'm getting that because uh, of just this really pushed pose, this nice straights that we're getting into the work. So just keep in mind, guys, when you go back in and, and, and you have a scene where you have to do some exaggeration to, to push those poses, try and find those nice compressions, those nice straights, try and push your animation and push those poses further than you think they can go, and then push them some more, and then get some feedback and see what your supervisor thinks, and um, you'll probably be right on, right on the money. So uh, have fun animating. Take it easy. Thank you.